Hi, I'm Lisa Marie. Welcome to Inside Real Country Music. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, leave your thumbs up, and leave your comments. Waylon Jennings Musical rebel Waylon Jennings is best remembered for helping to popularize the grittier, more rock-influenced genre known as outlaw country music. Waylon Jennings was born on June 15, 1937 in Littlefield, Texas. By age 12, he was playing in a band and working as a radio DJ. His style evolved over time, taking on a tougher, more bass-driven sound. He befriended such artists as Willie Nelson and formed the Highwaymen with Nelson, Johnny Cass, and Chris Christopherson in 1985. By the time of his death, Jennings had become a country music superstar. Jennings learned to play guitar as a child. By the age of 12, he was playing in a band and working as a radio disc jockey. Jennings dropped out of school and moved to Lookbook, Texas in 1954. There he found work at a local radio station, KLLL, where he met and befriended early rock and roll star Buddy Holly. In 1985, Holly produced Jennings' first single, Joel Blown. And Jennings played in Holly's backup band, The Crickets, for a time. He was performing with the group on February 3, 1959, and he was supposed to get on a private plane with Holly after their show at the Surf Ballroom in Clear Lake, Iowa. Jennings, however, gave up his spot on the plane to rock star J.B. Richardson, better known as the Big Popper who wasn't feeling well. Shortly after takeoff, the plane crashed, killing Holly Richardson, sing singer Richard Valens, and the pilot. Heartbroken after the tragedy, Jennings returned to Luckbuck for a time and worked as a radio disc jockey. He moved to Phoenix, Arizona in 1960 and restarted his musical career, forming a band called The Waylands. The Wailers. The group developed a local following and even recorded some singles through the independent record label, Trend. While the band never really took off commercially, Jennings landed a contract with A&M Records in 1963 and moved to Los Angeles, California. He got to, into a conflict with the record label over the direction of his music. They wanted him to take on more of a pop sound. Not one to be pushed around, Jennings remained committed to his country style. He made only one album for A&M. In 1965, Jennings moved to Nashville. He became roommates with country music's man in black, John Cash, which marks the start of a lifelong friendship. The year Jennings had his first country hit, Stop the World and Let Me Off. By 1968, he had several successful singles, including Walk On Out of My Mind and Only Daddy That'll Walk the Line. Jennings won his first Grammy Award in 1969 for Best Country Performance by a duo or group with vocals for MacArthur Park, which he recorded with the Kimberleys. Around this time, Jennings' musical style continued to evolve, taking on a tougher, more bass-driven sound. He worked on songs with such songwriters and artists as Chris Christopherson and Willie Nelson. In 1973, Jennings released Honky Tonk Heroes, which is often seen as one of the earlier albums displaying his new so-called outlaw sound. This new style was a distinct break from the slick productions of the more traditional country music and began to develop its own following. Reaching the top of the country charts in 1974, this time was the first number one hit for Jennings and was quickly followed by another chart topple. I'm a Ramblin' Man. Jennings got his first taste of crossover success in 1975 when Are You Sure Hank Done It This Way made its way onto the pop charts. Around that same time, he was honored by the Country Music Association as Male Vocalist of the Year. Jennings' participation in the, comp in the compilation Wanted the Outlaws in 1976 helped him become an even bigger name in music. A number one hit on the pop album charts, the recording featured songs by Jennings, Willie Nelson, Tom Paul Glassier, and Jesse Cool. Jennings' fourth wife. The couple even sang several duets together, including a cover of Suspicious Mind. 
Joining forces with Nelson, he recorded Waylon and Willie in 1978, which went on to sell several million copies. One of their duets from the album, Mamas Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up To Be Cowboys, reached the top of the charts and gave Wellings and gave Jennings his second Grammy Award. He and Nelson shared the honors for best country vocal performance by a duo or group. For the rest of the decade and, and into the early 1980s, Jennings continued to make hits, including Logan Buck, Texas, Back to the Basics of Love, and theme from The Dukes of Hazard, Good Old Boys. In addition to creating the theme song for the television series, Jennings served as a narrator for the country comedy The Dukes of Hazard. Long known for his parting ways, Jennings' drug use escalated into an expensive cocaine and anti amphetamine habit, which sometimes cost him as much as $1,500 a day. He decided to quit it in 1984 the following year. Jennings teamed up with Chris Christopherson, Johnny Cash, and Willie Nelson to form The Highwaymen. They hit the top of the charts with Highwaymen, which was included on their successful album of the same name. In 1990, follow-up album Highwayman 2 did not fare as well. While he had a tough time getting his music played on country music stations, Jennings remained a popular performing performer, touring extensively until 1997. He even played a few dates in 1996 on the 1996 Lollapalooza tour. Better known for showcasing alternative rock acts, around this time, Jennings candidly shared his many ups and downs on Waylon, an autobiography written by Lenny 